Welcome to this tutorial on creating a mail merge in Microsoft Word 2013. A mail merge pulls information from spreadsheet programs like Microsoft Excel and database programs like Microsoft Access. Information in these programs should be stored in separate columns or fields according to categories like first and last name, address, phone numbers, etc. This allows Word to read the information and then place it where you need it in the document. For this example, we will use a mail merge to create a form letter. You can see here on the screen that I have my form letter typed up and I'm ready to insert my mail merge fields. To start the mail merge, I can move up to the Mailings tab and select Start Mail Merge. From this menu, we have several options here and I'm going to choose Letters. From this point, you just move across the ribbon from left to right. I can now move to Select Recipients and I'm going to use an existing list that I've created in Excel. Select Use an Existing List locate your list, and then click Open. Now you have the option to select the sheet that contains the information. In this case, I want Sheet 1, which is where I have my names and addresses, and in that spreadsheet, I do have a first row that contains column headers, such as first name, last name, address, etc. So I want to leave that checked, and then click OK. Now you will notice that Edit Recipient List lights up. I can click on that, and it shows me a preview of what's inside that spreadsheet. You'll notice that across the top of these fields are the headers that I had in Microsoft Excel, so I have a last name column, a first name column, address, etc. I can also use this to select recipients that I want to send to and that I don't want to send to. In this case, I have two that are missing information. I'm going to uncheck those so that they will not be included in my results. And now I can click OK. And now I'm ready to start inserting my fields. At the top, you have some of the most common fields that you'll be using. Here, I'm going to insert an address block. This gives me the option to format this address block. You can scroll through and see how each of these will be formatted, and then click OK. And then, on another line, I'm going to insert my greeting line. Again, this allows you to format the greeting line in any way you see fit, whatever matches your type of form letter. You can scroll through and see how that's formatted for each one, and then click OK. Now these are some of the more common fields that you'll use in form letters, just things like address blocks and greeting lines, but you can also use this to add a first name here. So after the greeting line, if I want to start the sentence with their first name, I could go to Insert Merge Field and choose the first name field. After I've created this, I can click Preview Results, and you can see here that now my address block, my greeting line, and also the first name field are filled in. Then I can use the little arrows here at the top to scroll through and see how that affects each one of these. And if I need to go back and make some formatting changes, I can turn off this preview results. And this is where I could delete the first name if I decided I didn't want it. And at the end, you've got this finish group. And this will allow you to finish the merge. There are two ways to do this. You can either print this document directly from here, and that will send it straight to your printer, and it sends a new print job for each form letter. So if you have a lot of form letters, that may not be the best way to go. If you choose Edit Individual Documents, this will then open up a new document with each form letter on a different page. So now you can see if I scroll through, each page is its own form letter, and I can edit these in any way I see fit. This concludes our tutorial on mail merging in Word 2013. If you have any questions or would like more handouts and tutorials, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.